Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade your outdated system. As you can see here, we have a very outdated, uh, I think this is just a P5 in here, and we're going to be upgrading to a P8. Um, this is what I'm going to be putting in it. It's a total overhaul. We're buying a new motherboard. We got a new graphics card. We got ourselves a new power supply, and we have ourselves some new RAM, solid state hard drive, and uh, an i7. So, that being said, first things first, you're going to want to take out, of course, the screws that hold your case panels on, so that way we can access everything. Remember when you're doing this, and say if you're still in the process of thinking if you want to do this yourself, um, it's not really that hard. You'll see that during this tutorial. I will be stopping the camera at some sections because I can't hold on to the camera, of course. Well, unscrewing and pulling things out. Um, make sure that you're kind of in a static-free environment. It always sucks if you're on a carpet or something. If uh, you can, and if you are in a carpeted area or if you're worried about static, it's always all right to attach a wire to your wrist and then wrap it around a piece of metal. Even if it's your case, you're fine. So, that's about it. Everything else is pretty much plug and play, which I'll show you as we go along. But, yeah, we'll see as we go. The only hard part is going to be, of course, when we put our CPU on, there's a special way you want to do it so you don't bend pins and whatnot. So, right now, I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to be gutting this. Um, mainly all the screws are going to be here. You're just going to literally unplug everything. doesn't matter how you unplug it. All depends if you're going to try and resell components. If you're not... Just give her, fucking take a screwdriver to it and throw the components against the wall for all I care. So, um, in the next section, I'll be starting with an empty case and we'll go from there. Um, if you're wondering about how to take stuff out, if yours looks like this, this is just quick disconnects. Make sure you're taking the locks off and sliding. If not, it's just screws. Make sure you're going around and unscrewing. And, um, yeah, I'll show you what it's like once the case is empty. Alright, we'll go from there. Hey guys, how's it going? So as you can see, I cleaned out the case. Only thing I've left in here is the disk drive because it's uh, already a DVD ROM. So we're just going to leave that one in there. And other than that, um, as you can see, you know, box is nice and clean. Make sure yours is too. And uh, our power supply came out really easy. As I go through each piece and I put it in, I'll tell you what it took to take it out and what it took to put it back in. So as you can see here, um, just four bolts. It's just these four. You take them out, the old one comes out, and you put the new one in. Um, big thing for when you're putting your motherboard in, make sure you don't, you have some way of telling which, uh, it usually tells inside, uh, your manual. If not, you can always measure the holes and go from there. Uh, that's the next thing I'm going to be putting in here is our motherboard. But, uh, when you're pulling your motherboard out, make sure that you uh, take the screw out and pop your gr old graphics card out first and any other cards as then you'll have access to all the screws and once you have access to all the screws it's really easy to pull it out um, so next part I'll show you is uh, the motherboard I'll get that in and I'll tell you what I had to do to put it in hey guys how's it going so I got the motherboard in so the first thing you have to do of course pop out this template as you can see you just have to push it in there's no real holders on this side so after you have your motherboard out you pop it out with your thumb and then when you get the new one you put it in make sure you put it in the right way once you've uh, put it in the right way um, as you can see there's these little grounding posts make sure you don't bend them otherwise it'll make it very tough to put in um, but after you've got the grounding points all set like so, they're just little tabs. They just gotta make sure you're, they're touching the metal, which is really easy, just don't bend the tabs. And then, uh, all I had to do with this motherboard was quite easy. I had to remove two screws from my old one. Other than that, all the set, the screw positions were right. All it was is one there, one in the same lineup, just did all three and it all worked out. Uh, so yeah, that's it for that. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the processor. This is probably the scariest part of doing this as when you're doing this, you're going to be flipping uh, this up and then being careful with the pins. After I'm done, um, I'll let you take a look. But yeah, all it is is making sure you're being careful with the pins and that you don't bend any of the pins. All right? Cool.
Alright guys, so I'm going to just do this in two stages. Just got the processor in. You'll see that uh, the writing is facing towards our power supply, but make sure you confirm there's only one way it'll fit, you know, fit in. Make sure you drop it in and you'll actually feel it slide into the groove. Once it's in the groove, slowly bring the arm down. There is a little bit of pressure, so bring it down and then just hook it in. Make sure that these two pieces right here, if you have that, they uh, clip on to your screw right here and they hold it down and once it's down you're good to go so yeah after you've done that just go from there hey guys how's it going so what you're gonna have to do at this point is take your processor and uh, after that's in you're all good make sure you read your manual it'll tell you if you have a different style of putting it in you know if you have an AMD it might be a little bit different so make sure when you're pulling your your uh, processor out it'll say right here and make sure you just read it over really quickly and see the do's and don'ts the number one don't I'll tell you right now is make sure you do not push down on the pins um, next thing you're gonna have to do uh, put your processor in slowly bring that lever down like I showed you in the last portion and then right here you're going to um, depending with mine it was super easy all I had to do is slowly put this on get the posts in push down on each post and it locked in and then I turn to make sure it's security locked after security locks she's nice and tight so after she's tight the next thing is, is of course you plug your fan in to your fan port right here but before I start doing that, I'll leave that. I'll leave that till after I do my memory. So right now, I'm going to do my memory. Hey guys, so our next portion is, uh, as you can see, it's really cool. The newer style memory. If you buy some good memory, it's got some nice tabs to hold on to. So you just grab on and click it in. Now. It's always good to read your motherboard book on this because it will tell you exactly for which combinations you should use. So, um, as you can see, I'm using two sticks. So it says to use, of course, uh, A2B2 and kind of like R2T2. But yeah, you just put it in and then you're all set, which is the blue on my board. Um, so I was all set. I just put it in. We're all ready to go. If you're only using one stick, you'd still only put it in an A2. And then if you're using all four, well, obviously, then you'd use all four. So, hope that helped you out. And I will now do the graphics card. All right, guys. So, the graphics card is in. Holy massive. So, uh, yeah, it's like pretty huge. Anyways, so I got it in. Uh, you're going to need two plates, spot. Make sure that you uh, check. Well, I shouldn't say that. Depending on the size of your graphics card. Now, if you're doing a double, as I'm sure you know, you would go from here, stick your next one here, and your you would have gotten something like this, a slide connector, so that way you can uh, connect your two graphics cards together. Um, so yeah, just something for you there. And that would, of course, plug in over there. Yeah, oh great, cool. So I'm not doing that, but make sure you read your manual on how to hook up the SLI part to your board. And all right, next part I'm going to be doing is hooking up a lot of the uh, case features. Now this, you definitely need a manual that came with your case or, well, not really. Uh, you, it just helps because it usually comes with attachments and whatnot. And once you have and actually know where each, each part of these go, or well their names you can cross reference them with your motherboard book to see where to hook them up on your motherboard I'll show you where I do it in the end and we will go from there alright hey guys so this is the last portion just gonna show you the end result as you can see I've cleaned some stuff up here probably gonna do a little bit more wire management but this is pretty much what I got going um, as you can see here I've got um, my CD drives and my old hard drive hooked up to the SATA 3 gigabyte uh, transfer speed because they won't go over that um, but uh, I have my solid state drive hooked up to the 6.0 so that's all set up nice as you can see here I used velcro and put it up here because um, I was reading online and they say that you don't really need that drive compartment to bring it in so I mean I just put it up against here and it looks fine and heck looks decent and I was able to wire manage a little bit better around it um, 
So powered our graphics card here, and then I've also um, just plugged in the powers. You can't really screw them up. They say exactly where to plug them in on each plug, and just plug them in where they fit. Uh, and then if you go to your USB ports, as you can see here, I've done mine. Uh, you can tell because the USB ports will only fit in one slot. And then here, which is your audio uh, to the side of your case, or you know, you might have more of them, but that one goes in here and it only fits one spot. It'll only have one way it'll fit in because if you look, there's always a blanked out pin. So it'll only fit in that area. So plug it in there, which is, as you can see, it's the black area for me. And I guess it's for a speaker out. And then you also have a uh, the blue one, which is for the USB, which you have four spots for on the board. Um, if you have some 3.0 and 2.0 spots, make sure you read your manual and find out which is which. And then after that, last but not least, after you've got this all nicely tied in tie up, you can put your case back together and start it up. Make sure you have a copy of Windows that you can... Uh, put on here and then it's time to do the software portion which is as you know antivirus and just your uh everything all that you use graphic designing and whatnot so that's pretty much how i'm going to conclude this if you have any questions and you're building a pc feel free to put in the comment section below and i'll try to help you out other than that like and subscribe thanks very much